them. Okay, everyone, this is Dr. Nick Delgado and Dr. Kathleen Geringer. We're talking about the coronavirus and our continued segment in search for the incredible ways we can support a strong, healthy immune system. Let's tune in to what Dr. Dipmai Maharaj, a world-class blood hematologist, uh, uh, blood transplant, stem cell doctor, uh, let's hear what he has to say about this critical factor of remaining healthy and strong in a challenged, uh, toxin-filled world. What can cause that? So we all have to be conscious of the fact that we need to maintain our health by maintaining a healthy immune system. I talk about the four steps to wellness. Detoxification, which includes exercise, a very high fiber diet to cleanse, um, infrared spa, uh, making sure your outdoor activities. Uh, number two, nutrify, getting whole food nutrition, minimizing toxins and chemicals, you know, going with as much plant-based whole foods as you can. And in that, certainly herbal supplementation. Number three, fortification, looking at the possibility that some people can benefit from stem cell intervention, from chromosome enhancement, from telomere improvement, mitochondria function. And number four, the power of the mind. The power of the mind because that gets people to be more consistent with adhering to those other three steps. Would you ascribe to some of this? Would this help many people? And then what would you like to add to that? Well, I'm going to repeat some of what you said, but by looking at it, if we look at the broader picture of lifestyle and environment, so if, if we now begin to look at that, toxins that we're exposed to. So if you look at uh, people who live close to main highways, and large studies have been done where you find individuals who live close to main highways, their incidence of dementia, Alzheimer's is significantly higher than people who live 10 miles away. And wow. that would be the exposure, the continuous exposure to to toxins being um, in fumes from the cars or vehicles. The next thing, of course, is the, the food that we eat. Many of us think that we're eating a, whole, you know, a healthy diet, but as you've said, a whole food plant-based diet is actually the best diet. But the, the, the source of, this, of the food is also important as well because another study showed that 50 to 70 percent of Americans are actually micronutrient deficient. And certainly in my practice when we look for that, we'll actually find many people are micronutrient deficient, although they claim to be eating the best food that um, they can buy. The third thing, of course, is the effect of uh, well, uh, before we get to the third thing he's going to talk about, you heard it very clearly. He said a plant-based whole foods diet is one of the number one, one of the key factors, one of the most important factors to a healthy immune system. But he also said you still could be micronutrient deficient, which lays the ground for you do need to supplement your whole foods diet. You do need to minimize sugars and oils and highly processed uh, junk food but it may not be enough as you get older to just depend on a whole plant-based diet you need the outdoors activity the exercise you need to breathe fresh air and you need the sun but you also need supplementation and i'm a firm believer in it dr geringer i i know you you like i um ha have um found this to be a, a critical factor. Dr. Geringer, in your practice, what about supplementation? And do you believe that a plant-based whole foods diet is one of the greatest ways to improve the immune system? Absolutely. As we age, our body's ability to produce its own amylase, lipase, protease. So these are enzymes that your digestive tract needs to produce in order for you to break down the food that you eat. So as we age, our body's ability to produce those enzymes starts to go down, just like our stem cell bank. As we age, our stem cell bank starts to go down. So what happens is that it accelerates our aging process. And, and I have to admit that uh, one of the number one ways to reduce inflammation is based on a, a cookbook here that I'm, I'm trying to show on the screen. Simply Healthy Cookbook. Uh, it's oil-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and it's 
plant-based whole food nutrition. Uh, I've been doing this for 40 years. I've recommended it for all these years. And uh, we have an incredible recipes that took me more than 15 years going around the world to find the healthiest cuisines. And in many cuisines, they don't use oil and processed foods. In the early days, our ancestors did not use uh, processed foods. Dr. Geringer, so the basis of a healthy diet and then supplementation, will this help with inflammation? Will methyl donors help reduce inflammation? Uh, certainly the foods you choose. And wh- what about, you know, basically acupuncture and some of these other therapies? So there's a number of things we can do as we age because as we age unfortunately inflammation does increase absolutely and i mean for our listeners out there if you can eliminate these three basic items from your diet dairy gluten and corn those three items are one of the major factors in creating inflammation. So if you're having gut issues, or if you're having a depressed immune system, or even bronchitis prone to asthma, if you're able to reduce those three items, you're going to find yourself a lot healthier. And these signs and symptoms of a compromised immune system lessens. Well, and also I have to say that there's a a number of athletes that have expressed to me like uh, Brendan, uh, Brandon Meebane of the the nose guard for the Los Angeles uh, uh, Chargers. Uh, It's interesting that they talk about when they went plant based, how the inflammation disappeared from their body. But I have to say, even more important than just the plant based whole foods diet is testosterone augmentation. What an amazing way to clear uh, inflammation of the body. Um, and certainly whether we use testosterone pellets, whether we use uh, testrogenin, a cream, it's based on doc nutrient formulations, or uh, we add, say, Testrovito, uh, um, these, these capsules release because of zinc and boron and 20 different ingredients that enhance the availability of uh, free bioavailable testosterone. Wouldn't you say that testosterone uh, is one of the number one hormones to relieving inflammation and reversing the aging process and improving cognition and improving the immune system supported by peptides, growth hormone? We can get into lengthy discussions about this, but without a doubt, so long as you support the adrenals first, because most good anti-aging doctors know first fix the adrenals and then add the thyroid, the testosterone, the DHEA, the pregnenolone and growth factors, growth hormone. Isn't this where it all begins, the core to building a strong immune system? Exactly. And the adrenals is what makes your testosterone as well. It makes a lot of our hormones. And so a lot of times what's happening in our Western society is that we have a specialist for every single organ. You have the lung specialist, the pulmonologist, the cardiologist, the heart specialist, the kidney specialist, the nephrologist, but they break your organ system into all these components and compartments. What happens is that our body functions as a complete unit. So you can't separate them. You have to treat the body as a whole entire unit. So when you address your hormones, make sure you address your adrenals, make sure you address your testosterone and other hormones that really helps the body heal. And that's, again, is the key in maintaining optimum health optimize your hormones, optimize your nutrients, so your body has the ability to heal itself. And I don't know a person who can't benefit from balancing their hormones, particularly in an estrogen-dominant society. The problem is there's so much estrogen and pesticides and endocrine disruptors and chemicals in our uh, in, in cosmetics, in, in the creams, even in the basis of some of these, um, if you will, bioidentical hormone creams that they formulated. We make sure we don't use these uh, toxic uh, creams uh, or that is ingredients in the creams. It, it's so important that you, you know where you're getting your source of 
of creams. What you're getting is in terms of your supplements, GMP quality, and full disclosure, as we do when we uh, manufacture and produce uh, these high-quality products. I would have never uh, introduced uh, doctors to these products or myself, let alone uh, my family, unless I knew it was the top grade in the world. And being in this industry for 40 years, uh, I had to go that extra mile. I had to figure out, what do you do with estrogen dominance? I was the first to write about acne and estrogen dominance. And people said, how could estrogen dominance have anything to do with your skin? And yet more and more science kept coming out that it, it, it forced uh, sex hormone binding globulin. It altered the androgens because estrogen is sometimes, according to Dr. Eugene Chippen, considered to be a thousand times more potent than testosterone itself. So you could have a healthy testosterone level, but if you have too much estrogen, it won't uh, manifest. So there's certain herbs you need to accompany, right? DIM, indole 3 carbonyl. What do you th believe about this, Dr. Geringer? Oh, absolutely. Just like everybody's panicking over this coronavirus, and they, they're they out there stocking themselves with this hand sanitizer. Did you know that there's so many chemicals in that hand sanitizer, and it helps to fight the bacteria, but it doesn't kill any viruses. So it, it's a, another hormonal disruptor, especially to the young, the young ones where their receptor cells are open to all this stuff. So I make my own hand sanitizer. I'm actually going to make one on Facebook Live tomorrow and teach our audience how to make your own homemade natural sanitizer hand well, sanitizer I, I would agree with you. you know it's interesting that you say that because um mm -hmm. these the, the sanitizers getting rid of the the bacteria on your skin well your skin has a protective layer and you remove the good and the bad bacteria and the body has this is hard for people to understand the human body has more bacteria than human cells and once you start knocking out all this bacteria randomly and going through all these chemicals and and endocrine disruptors you're really depressing the body's immune system there's more than enough evidence that those people who don't use hand sanitizers who don't use antibacterial soap actually are healthier and I know it's hard for people to comprehend this, but the body in its infinite wisdom has its natural way of reaching a balance. Now, I'm not saying you walk around with mud on your hands and stuff, but hey, actually, <laughs> you know what? Uh, we come, that's where we get vitamin B12. We get nutrients. There, there's, there's so much evidence now that the microbiome uh, depends on, and our forefathers actually depended on, you know, sometimes we didn't have to worry about uh, toxins in water and in and, and the soil. So, you know, sometimes we ate plants with a little bit of if you will dirt on it i mean it sounds a little bit of, you know gross but i gotta say uh give us a hint what is in this natural uh, sanitizer tell me about it <laughs> well um i use um aloe because mm -hmm. that really helps to nourish the the hands and it depends on where i'm going to use it at if it's at the clinic then i have to make sure that i have 70 percent of the alcohol but if i just do uh, if i use it at home let's say to clean my um countertop or even for my son when he was young for him to play around i didn't want any kind of chemicals so i mix it with um hazel witch um oil which um it, it's not an oil but it's it's like a base where it's really really nice and clean and it's really healthy for the body and i put a little bit essential oils in there just to give it the little fragrance like lavender or lemon or eucalyptus oil well we're so gonna just 20 drops sounds <laughs> great we're gonna share these formulas and more in the show notes and in the description of this course how to become immune to cancer uh, to uh, excuse me to the coronavirus but but, you know, I'm not going to pick on just the coronavirus. You know, people have to understand that this is not the first outbreak of a flu or a virus or infectious nature condition. You know, we're really talking about multiple conditions, and the immune system is finally kind of coming to the forefront. But everyone's talking about, you know, they're just in fear. They just want to hide.
hide away in their homes, which is the worst place because the, the homes, you know, there's not fresh air. You know, you're basically, you know, filled with a lot of toxins in most homes. And you need to be outdoors in the sun and exercising and having a good time and, and really uh, inviting on fresh fruits and vegetables and activity and getting these herbs and supplements and, and having joy and happiness because negative emotions does depress the immune system. Positive emotions and, you know, having a winning attitude is all very important, isn't it, Dr. Geringer? I mean, we, we really live to, to love life, right? Absolutely. It's your mindset. Your, your mindset has to be like crystal clear. Your mindset has to be upbeat because being optimistic actually helps you boost your immune system. When you're happier, when you're smiling, when you're sitting up straight and, and, and you just love life, it really helps to really boost your immune system.